hello guys today in this video I am going to demonstrate you how we can share data between two components using services in angular so this will be the chapter number 22 for in angular video series and <clears throat> this time I will be sharing data between any two components this could be parent child or this could be two sibling components okay so to do that uh, let me go to the Visual Studio code here and let me first clear everything here and here I will create one component with the name of component 1 ok by using this command ng g4 generate c4 component and the name of component is child1 ok now it, this component is, component is created here you can see okay and then I will again create one more component which will be the child 2 component okay this is also created here you can see okay and now I will create one service and to create a service we have a command here ng g4 generate as for service and I will be creating it with the name of common and shared is the actually a folder location so it will first create a shared I mean inside a shared folder it will create a common uh, service I mean the service with the name of common so you can see this is the shared folder inside it we have a common service.ts okay so first I will do the modification here in the common services okay so here let me go through here I have already written the code here so I will copy the same thing here okay so just let me uh, type few things here so I will be I will create a variable with the name of message and I will put here a type of a string and I will assign a value to it as an empty string okay and I will create method here mm one will be set message okay and second will be get message method okay and inside the set message I will have a variable with the name of data and again I will add, add a type of a string okay and what it will here what it, what it will do here it will set the current message uh, by using the data okay and in the get message I will simply return the response or we can say return this dot message okay so the message will be returned from here so yeah this is the change what uh, I have done in the in the service okay so this method will be called to set this message variable okay and from this method we can get the current value of the message variable okay and now let's move to the child one from where where we are going to transfer the data as you saw there are no relation between these two components these two are the sibling component okay and here in this I will first import that so I will import it here by using import and then here from and here uh, here I will do shared and then inside that common services the same thing I will also import in the second child I mean in the child 2 component ok so I will be sending data from child 1 to 2 and one more thing let me uh -uh, go here so I will copy this common services from here and I will put it here I can just simply type here common services make sure that you are using the same name here okay what is 
here the class name otherwise it will throw error okay same thing I will do in the child too as well okay and now we'll use that common services so again I will create a um, variable here the name of message okay and type of a string and I will assign it again nothing okay and from here from child one I will use one more thing I will um, I will pass this uh, common services as a constructor so I will copy this one I just shared okay so I will copy this and then I will put it inside the constructor here so you can see I have created a shared variable and this variable with the type of common service okay and from here I will in ng init I will uh, assign or put some value in the message okay for example this is message uh, like uh, I can see like I can set the message here so what I will do here in ng init I will use uh, shared this dot shared dot set message and inside that we can pass any message and that message is actually message from here and current message empty string so I will uh, put some value message from child one okay so now this message will be sent here on engine that means whenever this component will be loaded it will automatically uh, call this method set message method and it will set the send the message this value to the shared service okay and the value of message will get changed here okay and now in the component 2 I will again use here the constructor I will first initialize the construct I mean uh, initialize that private variable here okay which should be used only inside this class and now here uh, what we can do mm. we can we can do here like uh, set the message so for example again I will create a variable with the name of message here I just type a string again it will be empty variable here okay and here we need not to do anything here in ng init here okay so what I will do here I will um, I will assign it to um, just let me um, see yeah we can, we can assign it to um, again inside ng init okay but yeah, we can use any other variable or method as well to do the same thing okay so again here I will call shared dot get message so it will get the message from um, from the method actually and will assign it inside this dot message so now where message variable is have assigned I mean got the value from the get message method from the shared component here okay and the same will be displayed so to display this message what I will do I will use this selector actually to show it inside the uh, main module or we can say main app component so I will go to app component dot html file here and here I will let me remove everything here okay so here I will I will use this app child1 so the, for the first time it will call the child1 or ng only it will be called for child1 okay and then 
I will call the app child two. Okay. So now the value from app child one will be passed to child two. Okay. Let me put it, make it more clear. Um, let me make it as a um, different section, or we can say as three tag. And here I will child one. Okay. And let me um, put it here. H3 child 2. So child 2 will be rendered after child 1. Okay, let me save it and let me also run it. Okay, and let me start and now it will build and it is running now okay so let me open it copy and i will open it in the browser i am going to use firefox and now you can see it is being loaded right now It's taking more time than expected. Yeah, now you can see child one works. Okay, now currently we are not able to see any message here, right? So now to display the message, what I will do to display message inside a child two, I will go to child two component.html file and here I will put a h2 and inside it by using the interpolation i will access message variable from child to component basically from this component this message i am accessing and now i have saved it and now you will see here message from child one okay that means this child one is sending message from this child one component and it is getting displayed here in child 2 so this is the module of child 2 this is a part of child 2 component and this is a part of child 1 component and rest all are the part of uh, root component okay so let me also do one more thing like let me change this message to something else let me also add here for child 2 component and I will save it and once I have saved you will reach the latest changes it's coming from child 1 to child 2 okay so I hope you got the idea how we can share the data uh, from child 1 to child 2 okay so just uh, for the conclusion there are very simple steps first you need to create the service file by using ng generate s for service and then service service name and then you will create the service file inside that you can declare a variable okay and assign some value inside that okay and then create a separate separate method for that okay and then create a child one component then child two or you can create any comp number of component according to your feasibility okay or according to your requirement and you can do the uh, transfer of data between two child like this this is a very simple thing okay so there are one many other scenarios as well with which we can uh, like transfer the data for example we can also use subscriber and publisher concept here okay for which uh, in which we can broadcast the message uh, from the publisher and this its subscriber will receive that message so like that we can also like uh, share the data between two components so in this video this is all right now okay so thanks guys for watching this and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and please feel free to comment in the comment section Thank you guys.